Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hatful Boy Hatful Boyfriend Holiday Star. It's still midday, but the wind is still cold. At least today was a half day. It would be freezing in here if it were already evening. <laughs> Why are we having a meeting in here, Sakuya? Is it not obvious? Because this is my domain. Yes, obviously. Your domain what are you doing in here? Get out of here. You you shouldn't even be like, yeah, look at him, he's like scum. Do you mock me? Yet get out of here. There's no despoiled in the dictionary of the labels. Whatever, let's just make our plan already. Sakura is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. They use explosives here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? They might pretend to be normal guests and sneak in the front entrance. They might, yes. Or maybe they'll just blow up a wall there as well. I mean, it works the first time. I suppose they don't want to oops again. They don't want to oops, I did it again. They will not be able to... Where, what's up with this music? This music again. They will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photograph showed them to be quite small, so there is no way the two of them could carry it out. How could they get outside then? I think they would need some sort of hip, some sort of pump. So you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Any suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. Neutralized? Oh my god! So we need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. The mansion opens at seven. Should we be there this evening too? Yes. That should help things go most smoothly. I'll see you two there then. It's a date. It's a double date. It's a threesome. It's a menage a trois. We need to catch these thieves before Christmas itself arrives. Oh my god, what is this? Is this me talking? This is like a really creepy, like, purple hallway. I still have some time before I need to go to Sakuya's house. Not quite enough to go home by myself. What should I do? Maybe I should go pick up some sort of weapon in town? Would you go pick up, like... Oh my god, what? A certain stock, stock Excalibur? Don't listen to him, he's crazy. Hmm? Oh, it's the partridge in a pear tree again. As long as the familiar figure isn't that psychopath Angel, I'm okay. A familiar figure emerges from the chemistry lab. The doctor? If it isn't Miss Cullen, you are done with classes for today, yes? What business have you here? I was just heading home. What about you, sir? He appears to be trying to hide the large rack of test tubes he is carrying. I was doing some tests to confirm some things. To think that I would only get access to these samples now. It is simply unreasonable. What is he talking about? It's like, has he ever been this openly emotional before? Maybe the test went badly? Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but I don't really care. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to fuck off now and do my own thing. Something good. That is the last thing I want. Yeah, he only wants bad things. And with that blunt remark, he heads off towards the infirmary. I wish I could share some of my cheerfulness with him. I have so much I could brush my teeth with it. <laughs> oh, he's back again. Yes, sir? He stops and turns around. Do you have any food allergies? Um, I'm allergic to Ryota, but other than that, no. Like to peanuts or fish? To soybeans, for instance. No, I don't, I don't think I do, at least. Is that so? What is he talking about? I have no idea where this, like, side of the plot is going. You need to explain why you're asking, sir. If you just walk away looking pleased like that, you'll get reported. Reported? For what? For walking? Who's this supposed to be down here? Well, here it is, the scene of the plot. Sakuya's Christmas tree will open for display in just a few minutes. Staff birds walk busily around the mansion. In the center of the Grand Salon, there's his tree. It looks amazing. Look at it. That must be the tree. Such a vast presence, even in a room this large. It certainly would be difficult to carry it away by hand. There appears to be quite a crowd gathered outside already. Apparently, there are apparently the losers in this town have nothing better to do than to be like astounded by the enormous wealth they don't have. There are, of course, a great number of security personnel within the mansion as well. Oh, here it's him again. Have no worry, the classy, reliable gull guard is here. Uh huh. Are there any other squid words I should know about? Ah, the gull guard, stern when necessary, an iron hand masked in a velvet glove. I feel safer already. 
Your house is really huge, Sakuya. Isn't it tough to clean? He has idiots to do that for him. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say. I can't comprehend your question. Why should I worry over such things when I have servants? You didn't even know how to use a mop until just recently, after all. Yeah, when I, like, when I, like, all, d when I dominatrixed your ass and got you to clean up the council room. Th th that sort of foolery is for commoners and for pr the privacy of our, like, domination sessions. It has nothing to do with a noble such as myself. Oh, what a waste. You have the makings of a domestic genius, Sakuya. He's not. He's like a pop artist, is what he is. <laughs> yeah, you were way more help at the end of your cleanup than any of us expected. Ugh. Sakuya appears troubled, no doubt unsure if he should take that as a praise or as an insult. It's an insult, obviously, because you're just making fun of him. In any case, I have deigned to reveal my magnificent Christmas tree before the eyes of beggars and plebs. Are you sure the thieves will come? I think that depends on them. <laughs> Did you remember to send them their invitation? I think we can safely say they know about it. Yeah, but they're psychos. They're just like weirdos. They don't operate on the same logical plane as the rest of us. I've deployed elite bodyguards in the employ of the LaBelle family throughout the entire area. The thieves will be captured within two seconds of arrival. Oh my god, who is this? I, I thought that was a shadow for a while, but I think it's actually just a black bird. Master Sakuya. Oh my god, what kind of a voice is that? What is it, Albert? <laughs> what? What a strange name for a butler. A letter has arrived, sir. Here it is, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Well, what does it say, Sakia? They've got guts. It is a letter announcing their nefarious intent. It says they're coming. May I see? Oh, it's just going to be like some like sinister, like weirdly scrawled note again. I can't wait to see what it says. We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. For some reason, saying like Merry Christmas like that is reminding me of something, and I don't know what it is. I guess it's a letter of in intent. An awfully cute one. It might almost be a Christmas card or a letter to Santa. No, it's not. It's just a note. What are you talking about, Ryota? You're reading way too much into this. And expect us to hand it over. If they want it, they can come and claim it. Merry Christmas. They say they won't give it to us. Merry Christmas. They say if we want it, we should come and... What? Like, what is going on? Oh, there they are, those mutant abominations. At least they're not moving. When they move, they freak me out. This is Sakuya behind you. Huh? You can't do anything to the great and lovable Paradox! Or the great and lovable Sakuya. Stop it. Time for plan B. I don't want to see, like, that horrific animation anymore. There! It's them, Sakuya, the Christmas thieves. Well, here we have, like, this Professor Layton music again. Well, what? After them, seize them! Have you not holds for eyes, you confounded gull? How did they get in this far? Were they hoping to get the tree just by asking nicely? Well, how did they get the tree? It's no good, Sakuya. I tried my best to catch them too, but they got away. I received no word from the security teams either. It would appear they have escaped. What a dreadful waste of an opportunity. How long does this story go on? Jeez, it's like a cliffhanger. Well, not a cliffhanger, but it's like a plot twist. Well, it's not even a plot twist. They said something about a plan B before they left, right? I don't think they've given up yet. We'd better stay on guard. I am well aware. Let us return to the mansion, and I bet the Christmas tree will be gone. Ah, it's cold, and the thieves haven't shown up yet either. It's almost midnight already. Maybe they've gone home for the day, and I'm there, and we're all snug and cozy under a kotatsu. Isn't that like a sword? Probably not. I'm probably like reading it wrong. Yeah, well, or else you could just put clothes on. Did you ever think of that? I've prepared some ginger tea for you, miss. Please. Oh, the butler. Thank you so much. I always thought black butlers know just what you need. Oh my god. Black butlers? Like, what? Like. I don't know whether she's, like, making reference to that, like, to that, like, Black Butler manga and anime and whatever, or, else, or if he's actually black and she's saying, like, oh, Black Butlers always know what you need, which would be, like, the most strangely inappropriate thing to have in, like, the 21st century. Indeed, miss. 
What word from outside? Nothing to report? Schedule check-ins from all teams around Time Master. Nothing to report. This like what what's this butler supposed to look like? And what's that gull supposed to look like? Hmph, <clears throat> have those cowards given up already? Well I suppose if we don't know what like Urushihara looks like, we're not gonna find out what any of the other characters look like. It's way too late for us to be up and about. I wish they'd just tell us if they're not coming. It's like they're thieves. They just like come and go as they please. They don't have like moral like moral restrictions. Enemy armor in the northwest sector. We're under attack. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're like the crummiest, dumbest guard I've ever seen in my life. You're so incompetent. The nighttime streets are filled. What? That guard mentioned armor, right? Which means, oh my god, is it like the, is it the picture? Is it the icon? Oh my god, if it's like, it matters not. If that's what it is, I will like have a freak attack. My elite label security will have them neutralized in a matter of seconds. Is it the icon? Is it the icon, like the steam picture? A report, Master Sakuya. The Labelle security forces were neutralized in seconds. What? That's the wrong way around. You see, this is what happens to those who stand against the Labelle family. Ah ha ha ha. I, t I don't think you understood what he Yeah, I do not think that means what you think it means. What is up with this music? Oh my god. He said were, not have. What? That can't be. Indeed, sir. Th this noise something's coming something's coming i wonder what L look at that look there they are they're in the tank just like that image or just like the icon it's the christmas thieves in in a, a tank wow we need where's goggalor when you need him jeez wow they weren't just bringing just a truck this is way more than i expected this is way more than i can handle we're stealing the tree, stealing the tree. <laughs> With the. <laughs> I don't know why that looks so funny to me. It's like. jostling or something. Gah, what do we do? It's headed right to. Oh, don't like roll over Sakuya. Which is live ammunition, and ammunition. Are they going to like destroy the Labelle Mansion? They can't destroy the LaBelle Mansion. There's still birds inside, I'll go get them out of there. And you stay in there while you're at it. They blew up the council room without a second thought. At this rate, your house is going to end up looking like mine. <laughs> I cannot have that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to live in a cave and you're going to live in a pile of rubble. We need to stop them, what can I do? I need to stop the thieves' tank. Oh my god, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not prepared for this. Is this going to be like... I better save because like... Oh no, I can't. I can't save. Well, I'm going to try this, I suppose. I clench my fist and assume the stance. The enemy is straight ahead. They cannot dodge. Well, it's just going to like roll over a mailbox if I throw it at them. The strength of Gaia beneath me. Stop getting like infected by the Angel Syndrome. My love, my life, I place in this hand. I make my declaration here. The Empress arrives. Take this! <laughs> Immobile fist of the irrational teenage girl! I do not think that worked. Nothing. It did nothing at all. I'm sorry, Sakuya. I've never tried to hunt an animal made of metal before, so I don't know where its weak points are. Even my elite guards were no match for it. There's nothing a bird or human can do to that thing. A sharp crack echoes through the night. And the tank stops? Who shot them? Oh my- What? What is this? He has like an assault rifle? And like more funky music? This just gets gets more and more ludicrous. This is like the the the, the big like last storyline in the last game. It's just so high octane. A gentleman dove must never give up so easily, Sakuya. What? Yuya? Yeah? yeah, where did you get that assault rifle? And you've kept a lady up this late? Never mind the thieves, you're the real villain here. Would you shut up? Just shoot the idiots already. 
Please forgive him, Monami. Oh no, it's fine. I wasn't able to do anything anyway. <laughs> Typical, I'm just like, whatever, I did fuck all anyway to help. You, you rascal, what is that thing? What kind of a high school student has one of those? This, it's an anti-material rifle. A must-have item for young men in Japan these days. Do not mock me with jests. But Sakuya, even I have a broad axe. Of course a fashionable young man like Yuya is going to have an assault rifle or two. What? No, that is not like a logical explanation. You're a caveman, of course you have like weapon like primitive weaponry. They're supposed to be like a modern civilized society. Precisely. I hope you've learned something about Japanese culture today, Sakuya. No wait a second, Japanese culture isn't about going around like armed to the hilt. Japan truly is complicated and confounding place. Well, look, as long as like he's gonna stop your like um, Christmas tree from being stolen, or your mansion from being like reduced to a, a crumbling pile of rubble, then be grateful and just let him do it. It would seem so. Alas, I was hoping to have things cleared up and be walking the sweet lady home by now. Walking me back to your home, more like it. Don't lay a finger on Cullen, lecherous cur. She is my underling. Since when? A lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm the dom in this relationship. A lady never likes a man who tries to monopolize her, Sakuya. Don't bend my words. I had no such thing in mind. Haha, <laughs> are you sure? Anyway, it's time to end this. Ajay, mysterious thieving duo. So, are you just going to, like, kill them? Shoot them to death? But then we'll never find out what they are. It stopped. I really like want to find out what they are. They, they're surely they're like something in costumes or something. Nice job, Yuya. You're acting straight up cool for once. <laughs> you can pin me anytime you want, Yuya. Why, thank you, Monami. I am honored by your words. Connect this with this. Stick that there. Oh my god, no. Would you shoot that thing again? Just shoot it till it stops moving. It's not dead yet. Oh, oh dear. I had a thought I had immobilized it. Yeah, well, you didn't. Have you no other plan? I have not prepared any more ordnance. No, what kind? Like, what is it with you? The Yuya's voice. He, like, doesn't have any one voice whatsoever. I just can't do his voice, whatever it's supposed to be. I need to drink more 7 up anyway. More unorthodox beverages to wash that voice down. I have not prepared any more ordnance, no, it seems I have met my match. Forget preparations, would a super student like you really give up this easily? I'm not done yet, Monami. That said, those two possess an unusual degree of- Harry, look out! Oh no, they can't like kill me, I'm the most important character, kill Ryosha. Yeah, typical Ryosha, Ryosha's like fucked off the like safety, and we're out here tangling with this thing. Um, I'm fine. Yuya, wait, your tail is burnt. It smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My god, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not going like eating Yuya's ass today. All that matters is that you're safe. A little burn like this is just another medal of bravery. Sakazaki, you fool. Don't go raising flags here. Come on, we'll withdraw. You seem to be ha- Wait, who is this? Oh wait, no, it's the partridge in a pear tree for Christmas. You seem to be having difficulties, just like I have difficulty moving my lips, just like John Travolta in American Crime Story. We're bringing them all back, all of the, all of the, like, rehashed jokes. Who would have expected him to show up here? Well, it wasn't going to be the narcoleptic teacher. Dr. Obamane? Why are you here? <laughs> I'm just going to, like, say his line. I don't, don't even know what kind of a voice he's supposed to have. I took the liberty of examining the council room this morning. I find this case rather interesting. I could help you out if you like. Yeah, of course, just do it. Of course, if you don't need my assistance, I will leave. Well, why would you have come here in the first place? You wouldn't just come here and then just not help us. I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. Maybe he's in a bad mood again. But... Not even the doctor would bluff about something like this, right? Not too bad, right? I think you will find me more reliable than the singed and self-confident dove at your side. 
What a sharp tongue you have, Doctor. Please, Doctor Wamane, if, if you have some way of stopping those thieves, please help us. I'd hope to take them alive, but at this point I won't object if you decide to obliterate them entirely. <laughs> the old Sakuya would have made it perilous. They're doing bad things, but I could never live with myself if I let you kill something that adorable. We can kill all everything, just to, who cares? We have no intention of killing them, Miss Cullen. Yes? The doctor tosses a ball, or rather a sort of oblong metallic lump to me. Throw it onto the tank. You should be able to lend it enough force to rupture the casing. What is it? It's a grenade? My god, what? Are we going to, like, b explode them? Are they going to be quite exploded, like Bunbury? Look, look, I did it! There's, like, this important video in that important videos playlist where, like, this girl falls down a slide and she gets up and then she's like, I did it! <laughs> Hole in one. Well done, you have a good throwing arm. I would like to cut it off and examine it someday. But what did that do? There was no great explosion. A tear gas bomb, right? Huh? The tank is swathed in some sort of pump. Oh, so that's what you're just going to like disable them. We must withdraw. We'll be affected too and won't be able to secure the thieves. Can you stand, Yuya? We need to get the gases spreading throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and send out guards with gas masks. The gas has no effect on us anyway. Huh? What? What are these things? Like, what are they? At you. <laughs> like, what are they? Wait a second, I want to find out what they are, because I thought they might be, like, just costumes or something. Are they mice or something? I don't know. The tank hatch opens and the two white creatures stagger out. Oh, they look terrible. Yet yeah, they always look terrible. They're abominations. Finding an allergen specific to them was quite simple. I found plenty of samples to work with in the council room, after all. They are currently experiencing symptoms similar to those exhibited by people suffering from pollen allergies. Oh my god, he's like biochemical warfare ma ma master extraordinaire. He's like... Oh my god, he's like engineering weapons to perfectly disarm them. Mr. Sakazaki had already created a number of holes in the body of the tank, so it diffused in quite beautifully. I am pleased to see it worked. Oh my god, I'm sure you are pleased to see that, like, your weapons of mass destruction are working well. How kind of you to give me some credit, despite my miserable failure. I hadn't expected that from you. You're an exemplary teacher. This video was probably, like, a million hours long. 23 minutes. It's like, I am in blood, stepped in so far, and I feel like I'm at the end, so I might as well just keep going. Thank you, Mr. Sakazaki. You fought for me. Sir, how did you know so much about these previously unidentified creatures? D did he create them? Oh my god, are they his creations? That's totally what it's going to be, because like I wouldn't like I wouldn't expect anything less of this ridiculous game than that they're like some like mutant creations from his laboratory. Were the tests he was doing this afternoon for this? If so, it was an undeniable success. Shouldn't he be happy? They're ours now. Tie them up. Yes, restrain them. Oh my god, there's another chapter? I better end off the video here, because like I don't know how much longer this is going to go on for if this is like another like title screen. So yeah, thanks a million for watching this part of this action-packed episode of Let's Play Hatchable Boyfriend Holiday Star with me, Rock Paper Mario. Um I'll see you next time. Bye now.